A typical workflow includes organizing the pictures, editing them, converting them, and storing them in a safe location, such as an external drive, network-attached storage, or cloud. The file browser is the first screen you see when you start the application. You can click on the left bar to change the section. The application window has three tabs that lead to three different sections. The first section is the file browser. Here you can navigate the directories, organize the files, batch process, and show detailed information about a picture. The file browser is split into three areas. The drive and directory browser on the left. The thumbnails of the current directory in the center. And the subtabs of additional tools on the right. At the top of the thumbnail section, there is a toolbar that you can apply filters, zoom in, out, crop, and rotate the photo. When you press Editor on the left toolbar or double-click a photo in File Browser, the editor starts. Here is where you edit your photos. On the left there is the histogram, the picture navigator, the history of actions, and the list snapshots of adjustments. The main window has the preview panel at the center of the screen. The preview panel shows the picture after the basic adjustments. Some of the picture adjustments, such as noise reduction, are applied only when you zoom in due to heavy calculations. At the top of the toolbox there are ready-to-use profiles for processing your picture. When you finish editing the picture, there are two ways for exporting the picture to JPEG. You can press the Save button, or press Ctrl and S, to export it right now. You can also place the export in a queue for later processing by using the Ctrl and B shortcut. The main reason behind the existence of the queue is that you need all the processing power when applying various filters. By delaying the full processing, you can use all the available processing power you have. The most important options in this section are the type of the output file and the options associated with each format. By pressing the Start button, the processing of the queue starts. If you ever need additional help with any of the tools available, you can visit the documentation of the application at rawpedia.rawtherapy.com. The documentation has a detailed description of each tool available and the user can use it as a reference.